The Interestment of People and Gods, Chapter Thirteen. Sutra. At that time, the world honored one extended his gold-colored arm, and again wrapped the crown of the head of Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva, saying, "Earth Star, Earth Star, your spiritual powers, compassion, wisdom, and eloquence are inconceivable. Even if all Buddhas of the ten directions were to proclaim their praises of your inconceivable deeds, they could not finish in thousands of millions of ends." Commentary: This chapter on the entrustment of people and gods is chapter thirteen, and the final chapter. What is entrusted? Entrustment. Entrustment means to instruct and burden those in the heavens and the human realm with the work of propagating the sutra of the past vows of a star, Shiti Gaba Bodhisattva. Circulate this sutra so that all beings receive the benefits from this practice. At that time, the world honored one, the Buddha Shakyamuni, extended his golden-colored arm and again wrapped the crown of the head of a star bodhisattva. He had wrapped a star bodhisattva's head earlier, but now he wraps the crown of this great bodhisattva's head again in particular. Wrapping the crown of someone's head is a sign of compassion and care in Buddhism. Saying to him, "Earth Star, Earth Star, the awesome powers of your spiritual penetrations are inconceivable and ineffable," he says, "Earth Star Bodhisattva, no other Bodhisattva can compare to you in terms of your spiritual powers and strength." This kind of spiritual powers and strength are inconceivable and ineffable. You can be said to be most outstanding and most special. Your supernatural powers are incredible. Your compassion is indeed inconceivable and ineffable. You made vows saying, "Unless the hells are empty, I will not become a Buddha. I will only realize the body when all beings are saved." Great kindness and great compassion, such as this, comes from the power of great vows that no other bodhisattva has made. You, a star bodhisattva, alone have the power of such greatly kind and greatly compassionate vows. Your wisdom is inconceivable. The Buddha says, Earth Star. Very few bodhisattvas can compare to you in terms of your great wisdom. This kind of great wisdom is also inconceivable. And ineffable, your eloquence is inconceivable. Is inconceivable. You enjoy the four unobstructed eloquences: eloquence in phrasing, eloquence in meaning, eloquence in delight in speaking, and eloquence in the drama. Your unobstructed eloquence is also inconceivable and ineffable. Even if all Buddhas of the ten directions were to proclaim their phrases. Of your spiritual powers, compassion, wisdom, and eloquence, of your inconceivable deeds, stories, and achievements, they could not finish in thousands of millions of ends. They could not finish in a thousand or ten thousand great ends because there are so many. Sutra, Earth Star, Earth Star, remember this entrustment that I am again making here. In the Chajashim Sha Heaven, in this great assembly of uncountable millions of billions of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, and the rest of the eightfold division, I again entrust to you the gods, people, and others who are still in the burning house and have not yet left the triple world. Do not allow those beings to fall into the evil destinies, even for a single day and night. Much less fall into the fivefold relentless hell or the abyssal hell, where they would have to pass through thousands of billions of ends with no chance of escape. Commentary: Earth Star, Earth Star, remember this entrustment that I am again making here in the Chaja Shimsha Heaven. A star body said, "But you must remember how I, Shakyamuni Buddha, here in the Chaja Shimsha Heaven today, in this great assembly of uncountable millions of billions of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, and the rest of the eightfold division, such as Gandavas, Asuras, Garudas, Kinnaras, Maharagas, 
humans, non-humans, and other ghosts and spirits of the Eightfold Pantheon. I again entrust to you the gods, people, and others, essentially all beings in the human realm and the heavens, and all beings who are still in the burning house and have not yet left the triple world, the burning house of the desire realm, form realm, and formless realm. I leave all these beings with you. Do not allow those beings to fall into the evil destinies, even for as long as a single day and night, much less fall into the fivefold relentless hell or the aversive hell, where they would have to pass through thousands of billions of ants with no chance of escape. Before they escape, protect all beings and prevent them from falling into the evil destinies. You should know that a day and a night in the heaven of the four kings are fifty years in the human realm. A day and a night in the human realm are five hundred years in the hells. The reason for that is because there is a lot of joy in the heavens. Time goes by quickly for people who are enjoying themselves. Due to the suffering in the human realm, that period in the human realm is fifty years. Hells are even more miserable than the human realm. When beings suffer, time seems longer. For instance, when we are distressed and melancholy, the day seems extremely long. Conversely, if you were happy, time goes by imperceptibly, and the day has gone. This proves the contrast between the human realm and the hells, and that a day and a night in the human realm are five hundred years in the hells. This is why Shakyamuni Buddha told Earth Star Bodhisattva to make sure that beings do not fall into the relentless hells for even one day and one night, because they will feel like they have no chance of escape forever. Sutra, Earth Star, the beings of Southern Jambu Vipa have irresolute wills and natures. They habitually do many evil deeds. Even if they resolve to do good, they soon renounce that resolve. If they encounter evil conditions, they tend to become increasingly involved in them. For those reasons, I reduplicate thousands of billions of bodies to transform beings, take them across, and liberate them, all in accord with their own fundamental natures. Commentary: Earth Star Shakyamuni Buddha called on Earth Star Bodhisattva again, saying, "The beings of Southern Jambu Vipa of the Saha world, where we have to be patient, have irresolute wills and natures. Their determination and thoughts are unfixed, reaching suddenly for the heavens and suddenly for the earth. Suddenly they develop faith and suddenly they do not. They are always changing with no fixed place." They habitually do many evil deeds. There are always more beings who learn evils. For instance, you ask them to come and listen to the sutra lectures. They are always unwilling. They seem especially afraid of tossing out their evil when they come here and listen to the sutra lectures. What can you do? Undaunted by doing evil, they protect their evil and refuse to change. So more learn. To be evil, people do not need anyone to teach them how to gamble. For example, they go to a casino and they quite naturally know to pull the handle to the slot machine. They pull and know either they win or lose. No one needs to teach them. They are very smart about gambling in Reno or Las Vegas. They understand without a teacher. On the other hand, if you were to teach them good, they do not seem to get it no matter what. They do not even have faith in goodness. Hence, more learn to be evil. The Buddha knew about our habits long ago. He looks into beings' bones and marrow and knows everything that is there. Even if they resolve to do good, they soon renounce that resolve. After a while, they regret it. I wonder if all of my donations are of any use. Emperor Wu of the Liang Dynasty in China, for example, said, "I built so many temples, converted so many monks, donated and made offerings. How much merit do I have? I wonder if I have any merit." He then retreats. Soon, in a very short time, they withdraw from everything. If they encounter evil conditions, 
which are impure conditions that lead to one's fall. Any cause that leads to one's fall is considered an evil condition. Some examples of evil conditions include doing something stupid, getting angry, being greedy for money or sex, being hateful and wishing to murder and commit arson, being stupid in wanting what you cannot own. They become increasingly involved in them. Each thought grows and becomes stronger. For those reasons, I manifest thousands of billions of transformation bodies. Shakyamuni Buddha says that beings are so difficult to save. Even if they were to resolve to do good, they retreat very soon. If they encounter evil conditions, they become increasingly involved in them. For these reasons, I, Shakyamuni Buddha, divided my body to take them across and liberate them, all in accord with their own fundamental natures. I will use millions and millions of expedient practices to teach beings based on their faculty and nature to save all beings so that they live suffering and attain bliss. Deception is an inspiration of a previous one from the chapter on karmic retributions. The intention is to again exalt earth star to emulate the Buddha to manifest transformation bodies to take living beings across and liberate them. Sutra Earth star, I now earnestly entrust the multitudes of gods and people to you. If in the future among gods and people there are good men or women, who plant a few good fruits in the Buddha drama. Be they as little as a strand of hair, a mold of dust, a grain of sand, or a drop of water, then you should use your powers in the way to protect them so that they gradually cultivate the unsurpassed way and do not get lost or retreat from it. Commentary Shakyamuni Buddha again says, Earth Star, I now earnestly entrust Due to my sincere and tremendous expectation for you, the multitudes of gods and people to you, I trust them with you, leave them with you. If in the future is a time that equals me and you now, when a star bodhisattva and Shakyamuni Buddha signed this contract, they included you, me, and all beings. If among gods and people there are good men or women, see, this essentially includes you and me. You are a good man or a good woman, and I am a good man or a good woman. We are not evil men or women. An evil man or woman cannot sit still here. One sits down, is ready to run because one seems to have sat on a bed of needles. Because you are a good man or good woman, you can sit down and not want to leave. The more you listen, the more you enjoy listening. The more you enjoy listening, the more you find it interesting. That is why you do not, do not want to leave. Who plants a few good rules in the Buddha drama? See, how we have hope. Don't worry, everyone. Now that Shakyamuni Buddha and Earth Star Bodhisattva have signed this explicitly clear contract that says, those who have any little bit of good rules in the Buddha drama, be they as little as a strand of hair, a mud of dust, a grain of sand, or a drop of water among all the grains and drops of the Ganges River, then you should use your powers in the way. Although they do very little, what is done is done with good intentions. You must contemplate with your eye of the way, use the strength of your spiritual penetrations, supernatural powers, compassion, wisdom, and eloquence to protect them. Guard those who cultivate even this little amount of good rules so that they gradually cultivate the unsurpassed way. Make them cultivate this unsurpassed way more each day and understand it more each day. And do not get lost or retreat from it. Do not let them renounce their resolve for body. Some people may wonder, the sutra says that beings will be supported by earth star bodhisattva if they do only so little. But we do so much and have not won the support of earth star bodhisattva. I have not seen earth star bodhisattva come and support me. You have not listened. You have not seen earth star bodhisattva supporting you. You know, if you did not plant that little bit, 
or an abundant amount of good roots than you may have died in that car crash. You only incurred a slight injury and not death because a strong bodhisattva was protecting you. Or how come you became cold all of a sudden? Would you experience this kind of miracle if a strong bodhisattva was not protecting you? Someone else says, I have never been in car accidents or experienced any illness, so does that mean a strong bodhisattva does not protect me? Do you recall the time when you were on a boat and it nearly capsized? A strong bodhisattva was protecting you and prevented the boat from turning over. You just did not know about it. Someone else then says that he has never been a boat, been in a boat, but you take flies and have not met any crashes. This is also because of Earth Star Bodhisattva's protection. For example, someone, some people are afraid when they ride airplanes. Will the airplane fall from such heights? Why are they afraid? It is because of their heavy karmic obstructions from the past. So they're afraid that such karmic obstructions will hurt them and make them plummet. Fortunately, they study the Buddha drama so the plane does not fall from the air. Some say, I am not fearful of anything. You are not afraid. That is courage and protection granted to you by Earth Star Bodhisattva. Earth Star Bodhisattva is most efficacious in the above situations. Every one of you should believe in Earth Star Bodhisattva and Earth Star King Bodhisattva because a stalking Bodhisattva signed a contract with Shakyamuni Buddha while in Chajashim Heaven. It is a rigorous contract that protects you and me, all beings now, because a star Bodhisattva is responsible, so have faith. Sutra. Moreover, a star in the future gods or people according to the responses of their karmic retributions may do to the fall into the evil destinies. They may be on the brink of falling or may already be at the very gates to those paths. But if they can recite the name of one Buddha or Bodhisattva or a single sentence or verse of a great Vihaiko Sutra, then you should use your spiritual powers to rescue them with the expedient means, display a boundless body in the places where they are, smash the house and lead them to be born in the heavens and to experience supremely wonderful bliss. Commentary Moreover, Earth Star, let me tell you more. A star bodhisattva in the future, gods or pupil, according to the responses of their karmic retributions, they face their effects. They may be due to fall into the evil destinies. They may be on the brink of falling or may already be at the very gates to those three evil paths. But if they, all beings, can recite the name of one Buddha or just once, or Bodhisattva, or a single sentence or verse of a great Vihaiko Sutra, then you should use your spiritual powers to rescue them. All these beings, with the expedient means, display about this body, great might, and awesome virtue. In the places where they are, smash the house, you shake your staff, and the gate to the doors opens, releasing the hungry ghosts, and thereupon you lead them to be born in the heavens and to experience a supremely wonderful bliss. Sutra At that time, the world honored one spoke in verse, saying, I am entrusting to your care the multitudes of gods and people, both now and in the future. Use spiritual powers and experience to save them. Do not allow them to fall into the evil destinies. Commentary At that time, the Buddha again spoke in verse. At that time, the world honored one, Shakyamuni Buddha, spoke in verse, saying, I am entrusting to your care the multitudes with the greatest hope. I now sincerely and earnestly instruct you to live with you, all beings of gods and people, both now and in the future. Use spiritual powers and expedients to save them. Use the expedients and powers to young great, of your great spiritual penetrations to save all beings. 
Do not allow them to fall into the evil destinies. Make sure that God's humans and all beings do not fall into the evil realms of hell beings, hungry gods, animals, and asuras.